What's up everyone? Joe here from Subtle Art Soap. Hope you're all doing well. If you're new to our channel, check out the videos. If you like what you see, give it a like and please consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. We really appreciate your support and I want to thank you for helping to spread the word. You know, I'm starting to notice that our subscriber numbers are ticking up and that's really exciting and fun for me because it's one of those things that I had said I wanted to do this year was focus a little bit more on the YouTube channel. So to see those numbers starting to go up is is really exciting and it, it just makes this all that much more fun for me. So thank you. We really appreciate that. Let's get to the shave. So today we're going to be shaving with Mid Cape Barber. Now I have a fun story about this soap and uh, why I made it and you know why i came up with the name mid k barber and i'll get into that uh, we also have the matching splash the razor we're going to be using today is a parker 78r the brush that we're going to be using today is a omega high brush and the bowl is fine accoutrements bowl but to kick things off, we are going to use our pre-shave soap to get things started. So we'll get rolling with that first. So all I do with this, now we've had this on our website for a while, and this is different than our regular bath soap. A little bit more water. All I do with this is wet the bar. Rub it on the face and then just put the lather right over it. This is formulated different than our bath soaps, like I was saying. This just gives you a little bit more, you know, a little extra cushion, a little bit more glide. Um, it's really slick. That's one of the first things you're going to notice about the pre-shaved soap is it's really slick. Speaking of, let me rinse my hands off. I got it all over my hands. But that's the idea of it, to be really slick and to give you that extra layer of uh, cushion underneath the lather. So I'm going to build a lather. And I will be right back. All right, guys, we're back. We have our lather built. Let me show you what I got here. Check it out. It's that super dense, rich, creamy yogurt light -like lather. All right, now let's get going. So like I was saying, fun story about this soap. Now, when I had started, I didn't have a barbershop soap. And I know, you know, barbershop was one of those staples in any shave soap company. You know, you can find any soap company, any shave, company that's making shave soaps. A barbershop is one that they they just have it's just a staple i didn't have one i wanted to make one but i was focusing a little bit more on some of the other you know more of the uh men's cologne type scents like night out and draconis but uh john bonham cape cod wet shaving what's up john kept asking me if I was going to be making a barbershop soap. And I had always been thinking about it and I wanted to do one. And I remember telling him, yeah, I'm going to do a barbershop. I just haven't decided, you know, what I'm going to do with it yet. 
And, you know, a couple of months goes by and he's asking me again. He's like, I really wish you'd do a barbershop soap. So I started putting a little bit more time into doing the barbershop soap, coming up with a fragrance that I liked because I wanted that classic barbershop. And eventually I came up with this one. Now the, for the name of the soap, I hadn't had a name. I didn't have a name for it yet. And I didn't want to call it just barbershop because everybody had a barbershop. I wanted something different. And while I was making it, the scent that I had put together immediately transported me back to a barber shop that I used to go to when I was on uh, when I was in the Coast Guard when I lived on Cape Cod. I lived in Sadie and I lived in Dennisport which is considered mid-cape. It's just before you get to the outer cape. But that's where we lived. And there was a barber shop right down the road from our apartment called Mike's Barber Shop. And that's where I used to go to get my hair cut. And when I was making the soap, when I was making the scent, I was instantly transported back to that barbershop. And that's where I got the name Mid Cape Barber. I know that barber shop doesn't exist anymore. It's still there, but it's not um, Mike's barber shop anymore. Not that long ago, John had actually sent me a picture of the barber shop, and he goes, "Hey, is this the barber shop that you're talking about?" When you talked about Mickey Barber. I'm like, yeah, that's the barbershop. It's not, it's a different name now, but yeah, that's it. So it's cool to know that it's, uh, you know, the barbershop is still there, but. You know, obviously that was, see, Mike's barbershop was back in the mid nineties, you know, 93 to 97. So, it just brought back a lot of memories when I was making it. So, that's where the name came from. All right, I'm going to do a quick little rinse here, and then we're going to go with uh, pass number two. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this razor. Now, our soap on its own is super slick. But when you add that uh, pre shave soap to it, it's even, I mean, the slickness is even, it's just bumped up that much more. Let's go past number two. A little soap there. No more water. And these Omega high brushes are really, really nice.
decent size, you know, not nothing too big, not too small. Soft. But with really good backbone, really. Really get work that soap. That's good. All right, this razor, the 78R. Now this is a slightly less aggressive than what Parker razors usually are. So I'll show you this one, for example. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but this is a 71R. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. See that blade gap there? That's a standard. That's typical for a Parker razor to have a little bit more of a blade gap, a little more blade feel, a little bit more on the, on the medium aggressive side. The 78R, you can see that there, has much less of a gap. So it's a little bit more... A little bit less aggressive, a little bit more towards the mild side of the Parker razors. I really enjoy this one. The knurling on this handle is unbelievable. The texture on that is, I mean, even with a really soapy, like wet soapy hand, you're going to have really good grip on this razor. All right, let's go across the grain. So if you've ever been, uh, you know, if you've been a little, if you've used Parker razors in the past and you've noticed that they're a little bit more aggressive and maybe that's turned you off a little bit, I would absolutely recommend giving this one a try. It's efficient, as you can see, but it's not as aggressive as most Parker razors. We do have these on our website. They come in uh, three colors. They come in chrome, satin chrome, and a graphite color, which is really nice. Everything in this shave here I have uh, on our website, so I'll put links down below so you can check it out. So I also, I want to thank everyone for everyone that came out for our Arctic Blast release. That was a really, it's a really nice uh, menthol soap if you like menthol. I actually thought about putting menthol in this at one point. I don't know. I still might. That might be fun. Maybe just like a small, small batch of menthol, mid K barber with menthol. I don't know. That sounds pretty good. I might try that. Oh, yeah. I think we're good. All right, I'm going to rinse off and uh, we'll do a quick recap. I have a little, uh, I don't know if you can see here, I have a little microphone down here. So if I hit the towel on it, I apologize. I'm trying not to, but just where it is. 
kind of hard. Yeah, we are good to go. I'm telling you, that's a great razor. Like I was saying, mild, mild for a Parker. I would call, actually, I would just call it mild. It's a really, really mild, mild razor, but efficient and not very expensive. I think they're like 28 bucks on our website. All right. Splash, AK Barber. That's nice. Such a great scent. It's a classic barbershop fragrance. So good. All right, let's do a recap. So for the soap and splash, Mid Cape Barber, the razor. Parker 78R. This is the chrome. The brush, Omega High Brush. And a bowl, fine accoutrements. And to kick things off, we did our pre shave soap. Everything that I shaved with here is available on our website, and I will put links down below. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. The next one that I'm going to be shaving with is uh, maple bourbon, but I am waiting on a splash to show up that I'm going to pair it with because we don't have a splash for maple bourbon, but somebody else has a bourbon splash that just came out. I'm sure you guys know who it is, but I'm going to pair it with that. And that's what I'm going to be shaving with next. So that should be uh, my next video. Hopefully this weekend. That's the plan anyway. All right, guys, that'll do it. Take care until next time.